believe it's the end of summer. Honestly, I can and I can't. I'm excited because if you know me, you know I love fall time. I am not the best at buying clothes. I, I don't know why. It just causes me a lot of anxiety to think of going to the stores, shopping. I think that's why I really thrive in online shopping. I hate going to the stores, having to try things on. The mirrors always just make you look bigger than you are. It's just a whole thing that I don't love. So online shopping has become a blessing because there are so many amazing online stores that I have stumbled upon. And definitely now through Instagram and influencers, they're always posting and showing you how things look on different body types. I never really buy myself clothes just because I can justify buying other things that I don't necessarily need over clothes, which I do need. So I thought I would invest in a end of summer clothing haul and I shopped from Princess Polly, Windsor, and Miss Lola, which I've shopped from before, except from Princess Polly. Princess Polly is the one I have been eyeing for quite some time and I've never like really just gone for it because I don't know, it's an Australian based company and I felt like, well, I don't really know how things fit, but then I've watched a bunch of hauls and then one of my friends, TK, she posted on her YouTube channel a whole haul and I was inspired and I was like, okay, this is my moment to thrive. God has sent me a sign that I need to use her code and finally go and bite the bullet and get some clothes from there. I love to support my friends, so go and use her code if you're gonna shop at Princess Polly. It's just TK, TK. Say it with me now, TK. Okay, and he had 20% off, which we love. We love a bargain. Since we're talking about Princess Polly, let's jump into the Princess Polly haul because that's definitely the largest portion of the haul. I have been eyeing these skirts forever. And I finally picked up the white skirt with this really cute little slit in the front and it's high-waisted. I think I don't buy skirts because I have a curvier body and I don't know, there's something about skirts, jean skirts especially, that kind of just like, threw me off and I see so many women wearing this adorable skirt from Princess Polly and the slit just adds like an extra sexy like feminine look to it. And I really liked it so I was like okay I got this in a six, the white is in a six and then I got the oatmeal color in an eight which I need to exchange because the eight is too large and also it did come with a little bit of a stain there but that's okay, tag still on, I only just tried it on and I heard they're really good at exchanges and returns. No worries there but I do love the color and I definitely want want the color. I just need to simply exchange it for a different size and just to make sure I don't have a stain on there anymore. So I tried that white skirt on with this adorable bodysuit which I saw in TK's video and typically I don't think I would have purchased this but then I saw one on her and I was like oh girl you look so cute I need to see how that would look on me. Wait this is really cute. Hey girl. Hey. Okay. Okay TK Juicy Pools. I see you. This top is Real kill. This mesh siding right here, it fits my body so well, like a glove. It makes me feel really confident. I love the way it's cut in the front. I love the kind of mesh fabric that this has and a little how it's like a little bit see-through. This is in a US 6. Super stretchy though. It feels so comfortable. I'm really glad I picked this up. It's gonna be a staple in my wardrobe for sure. You can wear it with jeans, skirts, shorts, by itself if you're feeling crazy. Another reason why I don't love shopping is because I have trouble finding clothes for my bottom half. I just do. I'm a curvier girl. My weight fluctuates a lot so that's another stressor to it i don't want to buy clothes if i don't know like what size i'm gonna be sometimes i can be super lean and fit and then other times like these times i'm a little bit fluffier it stresses me out because i'm like well do i need to buy it in two different sizes because nothing feels worse when you put on your clothes and they don't fit but then you're like but i could fit into it eventually jeans is one of those things that cause me stress because i feel like i can't find a good pair of jeans that will work with any shape or size that I am. Oh no, 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 Gardner, do not, do not come into the backyard. We're in the middle of filming. Until I found these jeans. These jeans are straight leg, and who knew that I needed a straight leg in my life, but I love the way they fit. They are high-waisted, which is great for me because I want that high waist. I have like a thicker booty slash hip section, so it goes straight down, which adds a nice balance to my body in particular. Typically, I would go for a jegging, but I'm into this 
straight leg life. I'm into the straight leg jeans. This little, I guess you could call it a top, it's truly just a piece of fabric, is what I wore with the cream skirt. I just am really into prints lately. I just feel like my eye is drawn to a lot of prints online. And I thought this would be a fun little top to try out. I don't know. This was a little pricey for what it's worth, so I probably will exchange it. It is cute. I do like the way it looks on. At the end of the day, it's literally a I guess you could call it a square top. It's silky. The next item is yes a scarf. You would think, what would you do with that besides put it on your head? Apparently you could put it on your body. I didn't know when I ordered this top it was gonna legit be a scarf, but here it is. I really had to do some maneuvering. The idea is cute. It just, it's just not me. It's not very me, but I could take some pics in it. I'm like legit choked out here. So if you've been following Princess Polly, you know that the military dress from there is a hot commodity. Like everyone wants the military dress. Every haul I watch, someone has a military dress. So what did Kales have to do? Pick up the military dress and see what it was all about. I love the color, love the fabric. It's super stretchy, like truly super giving. If you're pregnant, this is gonna be perfect for that baby bump. I'm not. I really like the ruching right here. I think that's super trendy right now and it's just really flattering on any body, like any body. I like it. I just feel like one, it's a little too bunchy right here. Maybe because this is a size too big. It is in the medium, so I thought I was doing the right thing because I got a big bootay. But this dress is super giving, so I don't think I needed a larger size. Okay. On to the next item. I also picked up this cute little bucket hat. I love the daisies on there. I thought that was like a really cute feminine touch. And I've been loving bucket hats lately. I don't know why, but I just feel like they're super cute, fun for the summer. It just adds like a fun accessory to your outfit. And I love how you could like kind of flip it up or keep it down, however you like your bucket hat. I don't have a patterned bucket hat in my wardrobe, so I just thought that the daisies were super cute and I would add it to the wardrobe. All right, that's it for the Princess Polly haul. Let's move on to Miss Lola. I got four items, no, five items from Miss Lola. The thing about Miss Lola is if you see them on any influencer's Instagram, you want to pick it up quick because their stuff sells out pretty quickly and it takes a little bit for them to restock. They definitely do restock the popular items, but it takes a little. And I have been eyeing the stretchy crop tots. Tots. These stretchy crop tops. I wonder if they taste good. These stretchy crop tops for quite some time with the little V in the middle. And I just think it would be a really great basic to have in my wardrobe. I love the basics. I have this in the black and I also picked it up in the white here. And I just love how stretchy they are. They're really comfortable. They can go with anything. You could dress it up. You can dress it down. If you know me, you know I love neutrals. So black, white items you can never have enough of in different styles. Really glad that I finally got those. Also with Miss Lola, you can always find a discount code. I usually never buy things without a discount code. So you can find someone you really love who's sponsored by them, or I think they usually just have one on their website you can enter in. I saw these cute little glasses on there. They just came out with the sunglass line, so I thought I would check these out. Honestly, these would look a lot cuter on me if I had blonde hair, which I keep going back and forth if I want to go back to blonde or not. Sometimes I really love my red, and then other times I'm like, this outfit would look so good if I was a blonde. I thought these were cute. They're kind of Barbie-esque. I want to see how they would look on me. I don't have a pair of pink sunglasses. Then we have this really cute one shoulder top. You know those shirts where you're like, how am I going to put this on and make this work? I picked up the next two items are like that. So this white top is really cool because you can tie it around the side and kind of create this like loose sleeves look. Not sleeved, but loose tie look or you can take the ties and wrap it around your neck and make it almost look like a halter top which I think it's cool that you can do a few different styles I'm always here for versatility and this shirt definitely gives it to you and then I also picked up another top that is one shoulder and it's the long sleeve version of it in black and you also have that loose tie around the bottom and I just think it looks really sleek kind of like sporty chic you could dress it up dress it down again I'm all for like sometimes being glam or sometimes being just super street style comfy goes. My style is like I like to go in between a super feminine and floral dress and then sometimes I like to wear a crop top and sweats and dress that up a little bit. My style is kind of all over the place but that's okay. I think that's what's fun about style is you don't have to stick to one thing. You gotta 
try it all and see like what you love and if it doesn't match that's fine because you love it and that's who you are it's getting hot in here so hot Woo, i'm telling you guys this heat wave in la it's a real doozy all right so the last company that i bought from was windsor which i love windsor's clothes they always fit me so well i really usually am never disappointed when i pick up their clothes i did pick up a piece of jewelry from them which is this gold chain necklace which actually i paired with this dress which I have on right now. I just really like the razor back cut. I feel like that always looks pretty flattering on everybody and I do have some armpit fat. I mean who really doesn't but I think that it covers up really well. I'm obsessed with this dress. It fits so well. It feels so good. It has an extra lining underneath. It doesn't really give that. It almost gives like you have shapewear underneath and then I picked it up in this olive color. I need all the rest of the colors. This is a great staple to have in your wardrobe. You can dress it up with a sweater, a jacket, you can wear it as is. And so I think that having every single color is necessary and will be in my future. Then I picked up two of the same color long sleeve tops. I've been loving the ruched sidings on tops lately. I just feel like it's super flattering. I love the black color. Again, black and white just work with everything and anything. So I picked it up in the white color as well. Super stretchy, really comfortable and very affordable. And then the last thing I got was this other crop top. Top. Simple and cute little crop top, super stretchy, lovely color, it looks great with my eyeballs and worth every damn penny. But yeah, that's it for my end of summer clothing haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't do this often. I think I'm going to start doing more clothing hauls on my channel. If that's something you're into, let me know. I'm not like the hugest fashionista or insta baddie, but I do appreciate and love fashion and I'm currently trying to figure out like what my style is. So let me know if you're interested in those videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That would mean so much to me if you would subscribe to my channel. I have so many other videos. So stay tuned. Have a great day. I'm going to watch the VMAs tonight. It's going to be so different and so weird without having a crowd there. I wonder how that's going to go down. I look forward to the VMAs every single year. The VMAs have always been like end of summer kickoff to school for me and that's how like I finished the summer was watching the VMAs and pop culture is just like my obsession. So can't wait to see what performances there are. I'm going to go whip up some dinner for my husband and I and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.